Eli here with TNT Cannon tutorial number three showing you how to make this big huge cannon here. Is what this is, is it's only it, it's cannon number two but twice as powerful. So you see this one? Um, you can watch the last video I made, can, video two, to see how to make that. But it's just this row of dispensers doubled. So it's also over there on the other side. And then is what this massive thing is on the top is just a longer repeater so that I can get the the cannon ball to go farther. Um, and then this mess on top here is just to ignite these two dispensers without triggering these last dispensers there. Um, I'm sure there's a better way to wire that but this way is easiest right there. So let me just show you what it does and then I'll show you how to make it. Um, so I just ignite that there and then you see the the signal goes through there and drops the cannonball at the last minute. Um, I don't want to fly out all the way to where it goes. See that hole right there? That's a regular cannon. Well, I made mine twice as powerful. That's 87 blocks there. It travels to 164 blocks. I'll fly to it at the end. Um, and it's becoming night, so time set day. I don't know exactly how many blocks it makes to create this. Um, and if you want this to be more like to fit in a certain uh, block area. This is like seven blocks wide right now if you don't count this. You can make this go up higher if you don't want that. Um, there's all, all kinds of stuff you can do. You can wire this top part differently. Um, also this end like I said. So now let me show you how to make it. Um, I like to build with obsidian in case my structure destroys. So I start with this basic C just like that and then um, I'm going to put my source block here and it's going to flow out that direction. So I put a row of seven dispensers facing inward so seven and these will face into my water so I'm putting seven dispensers on each side and then I'll stick my water down in the middle of my sea that I first created and these should um, end at the end on the same block so that's how you know you've put the right amount down and now I pull out a slab, let me go grab one, it doesn't matter what type of slab, and I just stick it on the ground at the end of my water there. Um, next I'm going to stick repeaters into my dispensers, so I just leave these all on a one tick delay and put them pointing directly into the dispensers. Just like that, that should be seven um, dispensers per each one. And then I just stick redstone on the end of all of the repeaters like that. Um, and next I'll wire it up to the block where the button will be. So I need to put the block where the button will be and I'm just going to put that block right on top of the source block. Um, okay, now I have a torch out. I don't want a torch. I want a button to trigger this cannon. So I stick a button there and then I wire, I put three pieces of redstone there to hook up to my um, the dispensers on bottom here and I'll do the same thing on the left side. So now I need to make my cannonball dispensers uh, spots. So I'm just going to stick a block there temporar temporarily so I can stick my dispenser there. And now I do the same on the other side. And so I have two dispensers facing inward to the middle. And that's basically all it is. Um, but I have to stick up wiring to these and this is where it gets a little bit messy. Um, this is just a quick solution of how to wire it um, I've made right now. As I said, I'm sure there are better ways to do this, but um, for the time constraints, it'll work. So um, as you can see, I've put three blocks on top. Here, let me, let me just do it again. I'm sticking a block, my obsidian block on top of, one block on top of each uh, cannonball dispenser there, and then one in the middle. And then I stick one right on top of the water, um, and then I need to put them down directly on top of the layer. As you can see here, I'm going to put three down farther like that. Um, so let me just do that, and then we can go look at my cannon again to see what else I did. So there's three down farther like that. Um, those are on top of the water, and this is just so that I can wire it up in a longer fashion. Um, if you want it to explode in the air then you don't need to do this. You can just make a big, um, you can just put like one line right there. Um, now I'm going to 
let's see how many blocks I went out on this cannon. I went out one, two, three, four, five. So let me just do that, and I let's see, I have two blocks above the water there. So I'm putting two blocks right here above the water. And now I go out one, two, three, four, five blocks. One, that was five blocks, and I do the same on the other side. And this is just so we can create like a loop sort of thing. Um, now we're going to stick some redstone on it. So I put a piece of redstone on top of my button block. And then I stick repeaters everywhere I can. Um, you can stick them everywhere except for corners where you need to stick redstone. And you follow along the path, make sure these are pointing the correct direction with, you know, the torch being um, the output direction. Um, so now I just keep following along this path and putting repeaters on the straight and redstone on the curve. So repeater there, redstone there, a bunch of repeaters here, and then um, you'll you can play around with the repeaters and figure out what exact ticks you want on. I'll just tell you what I put them on. Um, if you don't like that, you can change it. Um, so then I the, my final repeater here goes into this block, and then I have redstone on there. So the signal will go into this block, trigger that up there, and then um, ignite that, and it'll power those blocks, which will trigger the dispensers there. But you don't really need to worry about what blocks are powered and all that. You can just uh, trust me that this works. Um, if you don't like how messy this is, again, I don't really like how messy it is either, but um, you can do some other sort of design, whatever is your favorite. Um, now I need to stick a bunch of TNT in it. So let me just uh, grab a bunch of TNT and I'll... Um, so since I can stick so much TNT in it, this makes it kind of an automatic um, TNT cannon. You can, if you want it fully automatic, you just hook up a loop and like you'd wire a loop up to the button. Um, if you want me to make a tutorial on that, just comment and I probably will. So I'm just going to stick TNT in all of these dispensers. Um, just stick however much you want in there. Um, if I were you, I'd probably fill it completely full so that I can uh, you know, max dis maximum destruction, that sort of thing, because I play Minecraft and like blowing stuff up, and that's probably why you're watching this video. So I'm just sticking, I'm sticking 16 in here for now. Um, oh, also, I have, I have this set up to, there's seven, it's seven dispensers long, that's as long as it can be, um, unless I get really fancy and do more stuff. So, that's so that it gives it maximum power. And then I have, this is, this does qualify as a double-barreled cannon, kind of. It's not like, it's double power. It has the power of double-barreled that fits inside one. Um, so now I have it all wired up and we're ready to test fire it. Um, well, actually, I need to set my ticks here. So as you can see here, in this cannon, I set them all on tick delay four, except for four of them. So, um... Actually, I don't, I have, uh, I just have a piece of redstone there, but that doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to leave the first one on a tick delay of one, and then set the next four at a tick delay of three. Um, again, this is what I have them set on. This isn't exact, and then the rest of them are going to be four. This isn't exact to the exact tick um, that I, I, with my smaller cannons like this, I don't worry about exact ticks for firing. I might just try to get them pretty close and to not blow up. Um, if I build a super large cannon, then I figure exactly the ticks and everything, um, which those get massive and I they crash my server every time I try and explode them. Um, but I haven't released that one yet. So let's test this. I press the button and it goes through there. Hopefully this doesn't... Okay, it didn't explode everything. Um, so you can see that one didn't go as far as um, I would have liked it to. So let me look here and make sure everything's all right. Um, that goes into there. That goes into there. Um, yeah, so sometimes these cannons can be slightly... Um, let, let me just fire a couple of times. They, they can kind of change each time you do it. So I'm just going to fire it a couple times, and then we'll fly out and see where it went. 
Um, so this one is not aimable. This cannon is not. Um, some are. Uh, it is double powered. Um, seven shot strength. So okay. So this cannon. Oh, and it is double cannonball. So you can see that's how far this one is shooting. Um, and then the one I built right there, you can see, is exactly the same. Um, if I fly out, there's where my regular cannons landed. If I fly out, then we'll see how far this one went. And I measured this, and it is uh, 164 blocks it went. So here's the hole it made. Um, so if you just play around with the settings, um, this one went farther because I um, got the ticks to be exactly, um, well, not exact, but better than in the one I just built. Um, so just play around with them a little bit, and you can get it to go farther just like this one. And thanks for watching.